Hi everyone, Janie here and welcome to the first Craft Room Helpers collaboration. There are eight of us YouTube crafters and we will each be sharing a favorite craft tool with you. And the goal is to introduce you to tools that you may not have or to uses for them that you didn't know about. Also, we will each be giving away a prize on our channel so you have eight opportunities to win prizes and to be qualified you need to be a subscriber and you need to leave a comment and pay attention in case there is additional rules on someone's channel. The prize that I'm giving away is going to be a collection of things that can be made with the tool that I'm sharing which happens to be the envelope punch board. And I will share that with you a little bit later in the video so you will see what all you have a chance to win. But I just want to let you know that there are links below in the description box to all eight of us. And there's also a link at the very top that is going to be to the next person in the lineup. But if you want to see the entire lineup and all the details, click where it says show more and that will drop down and you will get to see everything. Now let's head on over. I'm going to show you the tool I'm using and the variety of things that can be made with it. I'm going to be sharing the We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board and I'm going to show you that you can do more than just make envelopes with this. You can make these beautiful teacups that have so many uses from treat holders to home decor to potpourri holders. There are just so many uses and I have my tutorial in the description box below so there's a link so you can learn how to make these and this one here is my favorite and sits on my dresser with potpourri in it and I'm going to show you how to make these cute little bows they are just perfect for little gift bags and gift boxes and there are so many things that you can do with them and guess what these bows are part of the prize package that I'm going to be giving away to the winner here on my channel. So don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment and a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated if you like this. This is the We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board. And this is an older model. Um, the newer one I think is more of a kind of an off-white color. Very pretty. And comes with a little bone folder and it comes with a chart that gives you all the information you're going to need for making 66 different size envelopes. Yes, you heard me right. There are 66 different sizes listed here, including both rectangle and square. Now, if you're like me and this is hard to see, I took a picture of this with my phone and I printed it out so that I could actually read it. <laughs> so gives you an idea here. It starts off with gift card size envelopes that are two by three and a half and it goes all the way over to here with six by eight and a half inch envelopes and everything in between. So it's really awesome. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how easy it is to make an A2 size envelope. So we're going to get right on here and four and a half by five and a half A2, you're going to need a piece of paper that is eight and one eighth by eight and one eighth inches. And this over here that says three and three fourths, that tells you where to put it on here. So let me come on down to three and three fourths and that's where you're going to line your paper up. You don't have to line it up any other time other than when you start. So I've already cut this to eight and one eighth inch by eight and one eighth inch. I have it lined up at three and three fourths inches and I'm going to punch but I'm not moving it yet. Forgot to take this out. Get this out. Okay. Let me lift this up really quick. You can see that there's a space right here for scoring. Okay, it goes all the way up. And so you're just gonna stick the little bone folder right in this opening here. And you're gonna drag it right along that line. 
Okay, now you're going to turn this and you're going to line this line up with this little point right here. So let me stick it under there, lift this up for you to see. You just line that point up with that line. And you're going to repeat. So punch, score, turn, line that line up again, right there. Don't even have to worry about the numbers over here. Just line it right up with that little point. Punch, score, gonna turn it again, line it up with that line, punch, and score. And this is what it looks like. Got these nice little notches right there, and you're gonna see how nice those look here in a minute. Now, maybe you don't want pointy ends. Not a problem. Guess what? This punches two directions from this side and from this side. So we're going to push it in and punch. And hold on a second here. I'm in a weird angle to do that. Need to make sure it's all the way in and punch and it rounds the corner for you. Push it in, punch and go all the way around. And if for any reason you didn't have it in all the way, just do it again, just like I did the first time. Because I think on one of these, I might have missed this one right here. I'm going to go back and try it again and punch. Okay, so we rounded all those corners. We're going to move this out of the way. Let me move this paper out of the way real quick. Okay, and now we have all of our score lines. So really easy. Just fold on each score line. And depending on the paper you use, sometimes it's easier to fold than others. So just be really careful that you're following that score line. And you can use your bone folder for this, but the paper that I'm using is actually a really thin, um, you know, printer paper or copy paper. So my fingers are working just fine, but if you're using something a little bit thicker like scrapbook paper, you might want to use your bone folder. But here we go. And it's all folded. What you're going to do is you're going to fold in two of the sides and then you're going to fold that one up and there's your envelope. So I'm going to take my, where did it go? My little tape runner here. And so you could see it better. I'm just going to run it right along there. Well, maybe I'm going to run it right along there if I get smart enough and open it up. Okay, let's run it right along there. And we're going to do the same thing with the other flap that's going to be on the inside. This time I'm going to leave it in there so you can see it. Well, maybe I won't. You can't see it that way. And I'm going to run that right along there. When we fold these in, so you can see that that's where the where the glue runner went. We're going to fold this side up, and there you have a perfect little envelope. And then when you go to seal it, you can you know put the glue runner on there, or maybe you're one of those people that just likes to tuck it in. However you want to do it, but that is how easy it is to make an envelope, and you can make your envelopes to match your cards. Or if you don't have card and envelope sets and you're making a card, then obviously you're going to need an envelope. This is a fabulous and easy way to do it. Okay, now let's make a bow. And I brought in my black craft mat so that these pieces would be easier for you to see. And what you're going to need is a piece of scrapbook paper or whatever you're going to be using that is one inch by six inches and you will need a piece that is one inch by four inches and you will need a piece that is one and a half inches by a fourth of an inch and since that is really difficult for me to do with my paper trimmer and might be difficult for you i just eyeball it and decided that that's a quarter of an inch so 
Now let's get started. So take your piece that is six inches long and half of six inches is three. So we're gonna put it right up to the three inch mark right here. Okay, and then we're going to punch and then we are going to turn it around. You can flip it over this way or you can just turn it that way however you want to do it because we're doing it at three inches again. So it's in the exact same spot and punch. And that's the beginning. Now this next part is a little trickier. So you're going to take it and you're going to slide the end of the, of the ribbon, the end of the bow, right in there in that opening. And you don't want it over here and you don't want it over here. You want to try to get it as close to the middle as you can. Obviously you can't. You're not going to stick your nose down there every time. So just kind of eyeball it and punch. And then we're going to turn it over and in the exact same spot, the best we can get it, we're going to punch again. And it creates this little kind of a ticket shaped in there. I don't know what you'd call it, but we're going to do the exact same thing on the other end. So we're going to put it in about the halfway mark and punch and we're going to turn it over and we are going to punch. And that's what this piece is going to look like. Now we're going to get the four inch piece. We're going to line that up to the two inch mark because two is half of four. So we know we have the middle and punch. Turn it over in the exact same two inch area there. We're going to punch and we have that. Now we're going to do something different. It's not the same as we did on the big one. Now you're going to turn it this way and you're going to slide it in there and try to center it. I will tell you right now, if you can't get it centered exactly, that is not a big deal. It just kind of gives your um, the tails of your, of your bow a little character. So you're going to punch and we're going to turn it around and we're going to punch and there's that and now we're done with the punch board so now we have our pieces and it's time to start putting it together and at this point you will either need something like glue dots which if you're not familiar with glue dots they come on a roll and they are let me see if i can get it to show up on the camera they're little tiny little tiny dots. Um, or again, you can use some sort of um, glue runner, tape runner, I mean, glue runner, whatever, <laughs> tape runner. And what you're gonna do is, if this is going to be the top of your bow, because mine is double-sided, so I can choose either way, but I want this to be the top. So on each of these little ends on the back side, we're going to add a little glue, a little tape. Maybe I'm going to use it if I turn up the right direction. I'm really having the darndest time with this and you want to know why? It's because I don't use it that often. I'm using it for today, but I don't use it that often. Okay, now you're going to gently smooth so that it kind of curves because you don't really want to bend it. So we're going to do that on each end. You could do that before you put the the tape on there if you want. Sure. Get that off of there. Okay. And then what you do is you bring it in and you will see how it matches up right there. And so you're going to match it up to its spot and attach it. Same thing on this side. This little notch area matches up with that little center area. And you're gonna find where it matches. And there you go. So, there's part of your bow. Now the next step is attaching it to this back piece. And before I put the, the glue on it or the tape, you will see that it perfectly matches up. So all you have to do is find that spot. So here we go again. Look at this time I'm doing it right. And you're just putting it right on that little back area where it's gonna attach on here. And do you see how I just 
went in like that. I've got my fingers in that little dented area, which means they're going to fit directly in that little dented area. And you get it lined up and you have a nice little bow. Now this piece is in case you want to wrap it right around the center. For some bows, I don't do that, and for other bows, I do. And so what you would do is do what I just did, wrap it around, get it fitted right where you want it, and when you take it off, you'll know exactly where you're putting adhesive on the inside of each of those flaps. So let me put a little bit on there, and a little bit on there, and... Let's see here, put it on and wrap it around and there you have a cute little bow. And you see how it's not really puffy, poofy, but you can make it a little bit poofier by sticking your finger in using your thumb on the end. You see, just kind of press it a little bit like this, you don't want to bend it. Do the same thing on the other side. Put your finger in and press a little bit. Don't crease it. And then that makes your bow a little bit poofier. And now you can add a gem or a flower or whatever bling you want, or you don't have to add anything. It is just such a cute little bow and so easy to make. The prize package I'm giving away includes this collection of bows as well as four envelopes with matching bow pieces for you to put your own bows together and also some extra paper so that you can create matching cards to go with it all. Even though I can't put a teacup in the package for the winner, I can get her started. So what I've done is I've already cut and scored and punched with the envelope punch board. And all that's left to do is the winner needs to watch my YouTube video tutorial on how to make the teacup. And the link is below in the description box. And she can finish doing the cutting, the folding, and the gluing. And also she'll need um, some paper to do the handle and the saucer. And so I'm including four pieces of this scrapbook paper, double-sided, that matches the teacup. And she can use this to make the handle, the saucer, and even a matching card. Thank you all for watching today and be sure to stop by everyone's channels because we all have something different to share and you never know what surprises there might be on how to use something. And also, you don't want to miss out on all the giveaways. So, Happy crafting, everyone. Bye-bye.